Isaiah chapter 41, verse 14. Fear not thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, save the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. First and foremost, I want to always give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can just keep pushing, man. Just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. No matter what happens, keep pushing. Regardless of people here for a bit. Fear not, thou worm. Jacob, we're considered worms. A, a worm can't beat nothing up. You know, a worm is defenseless, man. Do you, do you understand what the scripture The Lord is calling us worms, man. A worm can't beat nobody up, man. Only thing a worm can do is try to hide in the dirt. That's the only thing a worm can do. So the scriptures is giving us hope. The scriptures is giving us faith, confidence, in a power that we don't even see. Remember, faith is to believe in something that you don't see. All our forefathers, all of them had big faith. Remember, big faith. It's going to take big faith. Our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Noah, Moses, Lot, all of them, King David, you name it, man, Jeremiah, Elisha, Elijah. Shall I go on Ezra? All of them. Malachi. Matthew. The Apostle Paul. All of them had big faith. Isaiah 41, 14. Fear not. Thou word, Jacob. Because ain't the enemy coming in like a flood? Ain't he? The Lord said, fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. Remember, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Look, this devil has worn out the saints. And this devil haven't showed pity. He didn't bemoan you. He doesn't care about you. But the Lord's like, yo, don't, don't fear nothing that's coming. You know. Look, look, when the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord said he's going to lift up a standard against this sleaze and might. Know what I'm saying? I Meaning spiritual power. And, look, and it said, ye men of Israel, remember, a people before us a place. The Lord is telling the Israelites, don't fear. Don't fear the incoming of the wicked when it come. The desolation of the wicked when it come. I will help thee, saith the Lord. And that's our mind state. That's the only thing that's on our mind. Is the Lord coming through in the nick of time, man? Like he always did. He always comes through. The Lord, he's never late. He's always on time with everything that he does. The Lord said, when I come, shall I find faith on the earth? Because a whole lot of people are going give to up, give up the faith, man. You know, and they're going to lay it down, man. Because it's going to get bad out here. That's why we got to pray for faith now. Pray for more faith now. Build it up. Build it up through the spirit of your how but Shemel Shai. I will help thee, said the Lord. The Lord is saying he's gonna help us. The enemy like yo, y'all ain't got no help. Uh, look, uh, I'm ruling them. That's what the enemy is saying. But what, what is the Lord saying? I will help thee, save the Lord. And thy redeemer, the holy one of Israel, man. Israel, the holy one of Israel, Yahweh Bashimel Shai is telling us that we got hope. Psalms 124, this is just a quick hit. Psalm chapter 124, verse 1. If it have not been for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who was on our side, remember, we're doing the biddings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord, we're serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability. Now, remember, the scriptures tell you a righteous man falleth seven times and get back up. The Lord has put his spirit on us to remain strong, to remain confident, man. Through our mistakes, through our shortcomings, no, Yahweh Bashimel Shai still got his faith within us to believe that we can be delivered and saved, as long as we do what is commanded of us to the best of our ability. If it have not been for the Lord Yahweh Bashimel Shai, who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it have not been for the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they had, then they. 
had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us if it weren't for the Lord would have been taken out as a nation would have been destroyed if it weren't for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai right jumping down verse 8 Psalm chapter 124 verse 8 our help is in the name of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai did, did, did you not hear that Israel our help is in the name of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that's, that's where we get our help from that's where we get our power from the name our help is in the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai who made heaven and earth. Look, look. Our help is in the power that created the earth and they created heaven. What can man do to us, man? If you believe in a power like that, what can man do to you, man? We trust in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the Lord put that spirit on us. The Lord put that cold spirit on us to believe in his name no matter how rough it get. No, bad, no matter how bad it seems. You see? Let's get this. Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18 to 10. The name of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We don't play around with that name. We honor that name. We praise those names. We glorify those names. We uplift those names. You see? Look, we worship those names. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. A strong tower, you can't penetrate a strong tower. You can't break through the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That name remains strong, man. That's the name that gives us confidence. Look at the generations of all oh, moments. I got to get that right quick. Yeah. Look, we, we sound like a broken record, but so what? So what? We sound like a broken record. It don't matter. This broken record sounds real good to my ears. Sirach, chapter 2, verse 10. I got to read this. Look at the generations of old and see. There ever any trust in the Lord? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? Did ever any Israelite trust in the Lord and what's confounded was put to shame? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? No, no, no. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? None. For the Lord is full of compassion. For the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, is full of compassion and mercy. You're not going to get mercy from these nations, Israelites. You see? Long suffering and very pitiful. And forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. And the Lord saveth in the time of affliction, man. Woe to the fearful hearts, destruction, and faint hands. Getting all weak. Get yeah, this devil coming in. Don't ain't no need to get weak. Ain't no need to get weak, man. It's just woe to the fearful hearts. You all scared what this devil gonna do? Now we in the flesh or whatever, but don't let it get to the point to where you so scared you're going to bow down to this devil and not trust in the Lord. And faint hands until the sinner that goeth two ways. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, remember? Woe to him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Woe to all you non-believers, man. You unbelievers, right? You Israelites, it ain't doing nothing but doubting the powers that the powers of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The scripture say, woe to you, right? It says, what will you do when the Lord shall visit? No, matter of fact, I messed up. Woe to him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore, shall he not be defended. If you if you don't truly believe in the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai, what makes you think you're going to be defended? This devil is getting ready to come in like a flood. Look, you want to be protected, but you don't even believe in the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai. You're not going to be defended in that day. You're not going to be defended in that day, Israel. We need to trust in the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. A quick hitter through the spirit. Lord willing the elect is edified. Jeremiah 1 and 19. They shall fight against thee. But they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee. Said the Lord. Look look. To deliver thee. Remember. A thousand shall fall on that, on that left side. And ten thousand on that right side. But it shall not come nigh thee. Why? Because we trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Now that, that first scripture that I read, look, look. We trust in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know. 
we put our trust in the name of the Lord. Y'all said it already. Look, we're we saying it again, man. We were saying it again and again and again and again and again. As many times as the Lord put his spirit on us to say it, we're going to say it, man. Who do you put your trust in? Isaiah 35 and 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. They're making it mandatory. That you, that you take that dance with Maxine Waters and Vanessa Williams. You ain't going to be able to go in the store. You ain't know nothing. You ain't going to be able to work. So scriptures like this most definitely need to come out in the times that we're living in. Concentration camps are already ready. But the Lord is controlling the whole scene. That's what this, that's what this devil don't understand. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. Be strong. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. Lord, Yahweh is on his way. That's the only thing my mind keeps telling me. The Lord is on his way. Stay confident. Stay faithful. You know, hasten the day. Hasten the day, right? Your power will come with vengeance. Even Yahweh with the recompense. He will come and save you. That's my faith right there, man. That's my faith. Then my power will come save me at the nick of time. Because it says the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. It says the, the elect of the nation of Israel shall scarcely be saved. Scarcely be saved. But being saved is being saved. Whether, whether scarcely or not. Being saved is being saved, man. And that's our hope. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us within these words, right within the comforter. When the Lord Yahweh shall, shall be revealed from heaven, the Lord is on his way with his mighty angels. What is this devil going to do when the Lord cracked those clouds with the mighty angel, with the heavenly host? What is he going to do? Look, look, the scripture says he's going to be scared to death. To death, the Lord is going to have to put his spirit on this devil to fight. This devil's gonna be scared to death. He's tough. He's big and he's bad right about now. But, but wait to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Lord Yahweh shall I crack those clouds, man. With the head archangel Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, and the and the other heavenly host, man, coming through. And they're gonna ride on this devil, man. The angels are coming through to ride on this devil, man. Straight up, man. In flame and fire taking vengeance on them that know not the most high. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Who shall be punished with an everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord. And from the glory of his power. True. Like um, Rakhal Yaquam, you know what I'm saying? There's a quan out there in London. Rakhal Yaquam. True power. True power. True power, the fire arises, right? When when he shall come to be glorified in the saints and to be admired, and the, and the saints on this side is the elect of the nation of Israel, right? And to be glorified in the saints and to be admired in all them that believe. See, it's all about faith. It's all about faith because our testimony among you was believed in that day. True power. That's what's coming, man. True power. That's what's coming, man. I can't see it no clearer than that. True power is coming. I got two more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. Two more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up, Israel. St. Luke chapter 18. St. Luke chapter 18. I'm going to go straight to the point. Verse 7. Red letter. Lord, Yahweh shall speak of who you're going to call it Jesus, right? St. Luke chapter 18, verse 7. And shall not the most high Yahweh avenge his own elect which cry day and night are we crying day and night are we sign and crying Israel are you sign and crying are you sign and crying I can't hear you are you sign and crying it shall not your hour avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him though he bear long with them I tell you that he will avenge them speedily man he's gonna come through like a bat out of hell speedily Nevertheless, when the Son of Man, Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai, cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Because it's going to get that bad out here. But the answer is yes. The Lord is going to have, he's going to find faith in his elect, man. 
he's going to find favor. Just remember, the Lord said, yeah, he's going to avenge his elect, which cried to him day and night, man. Day and night, night and day. And this is my last scripture. Lord willing, I'm saying this, this was a faith booster, man. You know, it's going to take big faith, Israel. Let's get this, though. Second Maccabees. Uh, let's see. Bear with me. Second Maccabees chapter 15. Bear with me. I'm going to definitely got to get this because I'm, I'm about to head out. We worn out. We beat down right about now, but the Lord, we got hope. Second Maccabees chapter 15. Let's see. Verse 7. But Maccabees had ever sure confidence, faith, that the Lord would help them. That's the spirit that we coming in. No matter how bad it looks, no saying, no matter how grim and dark it looks and gloomy it looks, we got the confidence in Yahweh Bashim Shai that we can be helped, man. But Maccabees had ever sure confidence that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai would help him. Wherefore, he exhorted his people the same thing that we're doing, starting off with the head apostles. And elder bishops of great millstone and the men on down is kicking his truth, right? Wherefore, he exhorted, he uplifted his people. Not to fear the coming of the heathen against them. Because remember, this devil coming in with great wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. Remember, they exhorted the people, man. They exhorted the people not to fear the coming of the heathen against them, but to remember the help. Remember the help, Israel, which in former times they have received from heaven. And now to expect their victory and aid. Word aid means help, man. So expect the same thing that happened in former times. Remember the things that are written afar. Remember the things that are written aforetime were written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. What gives us hope? The word, man. See? The word. But to remember the help which in former times they had received from heaven. And now to expect the victory and aid. Which should come unto them from the Almighty, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And so, comforting them out of the law, which is the word, the comforter, and the prophets. And look, and with all putting them in mind of the battles that they won afore, he made them more cheerful, man. He pumped their spirits up. We're in a spiritual war, but it's going to get physical. So you got the men of the Lord pumping the elect of the nation of Israel up, letting them know we got confidence in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to build up your confidence, build up your faith, man. In Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, build up your faith, build up your confidence, because that's what it's gonna show enough take. That's what it's gonna show enough take. I do got one more. I got I got to end it off on this through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. I, I got to end it off on this Hebrews chapter eleven verse six. But without faith, remember confidence, but without faith. It is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Man. The Lord is going to reward those Israelites that put their trust in him. You see? And remember, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is not an unrighteous power to forget. I, I get that too, Lord. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For Yahweh. It's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. The Lord see us putting in the work, man, which you have showed towards his name. Remember, our hope is in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You got these other Israelite groups talking about the name don't matter. We don't got the name. You can call him anything. Y'all through. Y'all through in that day, which you have showed towards his name. And that ye have ministered. We, we serving our people with this food to the saints and do minister. And Lord willing, we'll continue. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the, to the full assurance of hope until the end. That ye be, not, be on fire for Yahweh by Shem Do you not know the Lord is coming and the Lord wants us to be on fire? The Lord wants us sighing and crying every time we turn around. Every time the Lord turns around, he want to hear our voice, right? Remember Isaiah the 60, what is it, 65, 62? I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence until you make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord always wanted constantly. Every time the Lord turns around, he wants to hear us sighing and crying. 
Because that lets them know that we truly hate this place and we're ready to get the hell out of here. Are you doing that? You see, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise, man. So Lord willing that this lesson was, was edifying to the elect. You know, we're going home soon, come man. Help is on the way. Shalom.